The RAV4 is easily Toyota's most important vehicle, and they've sold 400,000 of these in the 2017 calendar year, and they expect to sell even more in 2018. And that's why for 2019, they are completely redesigning the vehicle. Toyota decided to give us two distinctive front ends depending on the trim level that you get. The all-new Adventure Grade borrows a little bit of styling from the Tacoma line of pickup trucks, while the others are sort of a blend of Tacoma pickup truck and perhaps a little bit of the all-new Camry. That gives the RAV4 more of a truck-like or SUV-like look than it's had in its last generation. Thanks to the all-new platform under the sheet metal of the RAV4, they've been able to give it a longer wheelbase, improving interior room, while actually making the 2019 RAV4 a little bit shorter than the previous model. As you move to the back of the RAV4, you get a little bit of Volvo XC40 in the overall design, partially thanks to that two-tone roof option that the model you're looking at has, and of course it's the overall rear profile of the RAV4. We're still waiting on Toyota to release many of the RAV4 specifications. However, the cargo area still looks large for this segment, which has always been a strong selling point of the RAV4. And under the load floor, we still have a spare tire. Under the hood, we find Toyota's latest 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and their latest eight-speed automatic transmission. But that's not the big news for 2019. The big news is that we actually get a mechanical torque vectoring rear axle. This is very similar to what we see in Acura's super handling all-wheel drive equipped vehicles. Now this is not the standard all-wheel drive system, but it is available in top end trims as well as the adventure grade of the RAV4. And this is a first for any crossover in this price category. It should have a serious impact on handling performance as well as off-road ability because it has the ability to send up to 50% of the engine's power to a single rear wheel wheel, even when there is no wheel slip. And of course, if there is wheel slip, that number would actually increase. The hybrid system features a more powerful rear electric motor, and the system will use that rear electric motor across a wider range of driving situations. Power figures have yet to be announced, but expect the base engine to be around 200 horsepower, more than most of the competition's base engines, and the redesigned hybrid system is likely to be in the 210 to 220 horsepower range. Like the new Corolla hatchback, the RAV4 gets Toyota's new bundle of active safety tech called Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. This includes full speed range radar cruise control, autonomous braking with improved pedestrian detection and cyclist detection, an enhanced lane keeping system, automatic high beams, and a system that will read road signs and relay that information to the driver. Expect the new RAV4 to hit dealers late in 2018, with the hybrid following sometime in early 2019. Be sure and let me know what you think about the overall look of the new 2019 RAV4 down there in the comments section below. I'm really glad that Toyota has decided to make the new RAV4 a little bit more truck-like than the previous version. The current 2018 RAV4 just looks a little bit too car-like in my opinion, and this new look will really set it apart from the competition. Expect the new RAV4 to hit dealers late in 2018, with the hybrid following sometime in early 2019. That means that we should know more about how the RAV4 is priced later in the 2018 calendar year. If that sounds like a long time, well, it really is, so we probably won't be driving one until this fall. Stay tuned.